All right, I'm not sure how good the audio is. I would imagine it's halfway decent since it's pretty quiet in here. Had to uh, take this tip from uh, Beyond the Pick. I've been uh, following his videos. He's working up there in the oil field. I believe uh, Bakersfield, Ventura, not Ventura, but maybe Bakersfield area. And uh, he's got some uh, pretty good videos. I've uh, watched a lot of crane videos and I've been wanting to do uh, videos myself, but you know, it's it's a bit intimidating. I remember doing uh, different videos in the past and uh, it was uh, nerve wracking, but uh, hey, you know what? If somebody enjoys it or learns something, uh, then it'll be all worth it, you know? So this crane, I, uh, I'm i getting the feel, it's the second day running it and uh, it's got those two you know, joysticks, it's a grove, and so it's got a lot of play. I don't know if you'd call it slop in between, uh, in between the actual controls before they engage. But one thing I noticed that kind of got it, got me in trouble was on the swing, it's got a swing brake. So if I stop it right there, um, you'll see that the uh, swing brake, swing brake, engages automatically after a certain period of time. I've got a, uh, a release button here. So if I press that and pick it up and load, I can kind of uh, release it and go into free swing. But what I noticed that kind of got almost kicked my butt was once I center the joystick and the brake is on, if I go to swing, it takes a minute. It's got a delay. You kind of got a hard, hard start if you get a handful of it. But in between that delay, let, let me let me show you how long that delay is. So here's swinging, I'm still using the controls. Okay, I just let go of the controls, centered them. And there's the swing brake. So there's a, a nice little delay. It, it leaves you in free swing um, for a little bit of time. But what I noticed is once that, like if I'm trying to catch the swing, you know, I, these guys want to hurry, so I'm trying to get after it. Uh, you know, right now it's swinging. So I let go of the joystick and then I want to catch it, you know, it's like, okay, I'm catching on this side. Well, man, does this thing get after it? It, it removes that delay for the time it takes to uh, uh, release that brake. And uh, when I'm at, full, like right now, I'm just kind of idling it, you know, but if I'm uh, full throttle, uh, before that uh, brake sets, if you get after it to catch a swing, man, you better be ready for it because uh, it's a different uh, it's a different feel. If you know what I'm talking about, like you kind of learn the feel of how far you got to go, and then the uh, man, I had to show this right here. So the actual uh, winch, you can hear it when it starts clicking. Look how much movement there is. So there's that much before it starts. Now I can get into it, and it starts, you know. I can find that spot, you know, I can move it all that, that way, and I can hear that one click and it'll start clicking up slow. But what that does is, like right now I'm setting these, uh, I don't know what these are, they're like the floor floor plates for the, for the scaffolding, right? And so this guy on the phone, um, I think they traded radio, so this guy, he's like, you know, he's, I'm, I'm kind of in the blind, I'm, uh, the block swing and I haven't caught the uh, the swing and they've got a tagline they're adding to it and then the guy's like cable down so I get into it and then he says stop so I kind of back it out just slow it down a little bit and they go and you know he's trying to he's trying to time me but he doesn't know the delay on the crane so by the time he tells me to go and I'm actually going it's already time to stop and man it, it must look pretty funny for that uh, or their operator, you know, this is a fill-in job, so I'm trying not to look like an idiot, because um, I got a, uh, a dispatch operator running another crane over there, and from what I hear, they've said good things about him, so, you know, I'm trying not to get a report back to the boss that that guy's worthless. Uh, yeah, you can barely see it, let's see, he's running the, an RT over there doing wall panels, so yeah, it's a... Uh, it's one of those things, fill-in work always makes me nervous just because there's so many guys out there, you don't uh, you don't get much opportunity to screw up. You know, if you're dispatched to a company, um, you gotta kinda, they gotta kinda put up with you. You know, they, they can run you off and roll the dice on the next guy, 
but after you get some time in there, they're kind of more apt to uh, put up with your mistakes. Uh, and boy, have I made them, you know. I uh, came in as a mechanic and uh, started operating basically in 2018. And uh, so it's, yeah, I only you know, probably shouldn't say that on the video because that'll ruin my filling work, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I love it and I uh, learn every day. Um, I do make mistakes and I just uh, talk to other operators that are senior and uh, see what I need to improve and, and uh, just do my best, you know, and uh, one thing for me is I'll never try to go faster than I can actually control it. Uh, so I, at break time, I'm in here. I'll show you one thing that I, I like to do. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I got power lines across the street, right? And so, what I'll do is I'll, posi you know, it's break time. They don't need me. I'm, I'm on standby. I'll position that uh, hook right on that power pole and uh, start there, and then I'll just swing over. I'll boom down and hold the load, and I'll try to keep that block. Do a bad job on it. Try to keep that block right on that uh, on that line, that power line. And now I'll get over here and I'll try to I'll try to stop it. You know, so I swung like 30 feet past it, but I'm looking at that other power pole, and uh, then I'll just kind of go back and forth. You know, all distracted. It takes a lot of concentration. You know, if you haven't been in one of these, and it's especially your second day still getting the feel for it uh, I'm idling right now earlier I was kind of full throttle and the guys looking at me like what the heck man it's lunchtime what are you doing shut that crap off so you got to watch it depends on your job site um, also if the safety guy sees you out there just like swinging wildly you know he might uh, he might not like you to uh, might be worried about you know but you know there's always uh, always a chance to improve and uh, one of the guys that started teaching me early on told me uh, a good quote that I love. He says, never stop chasing the hook. And uh, I don't care if there's an inch of movement, if there's wind. If you're in there and you're not cleaning, you might as well be chasing that hook. You know, If you can uh, get that thing dialed in on your, your swing, catching it, um, obviously booming down is, is harder for me. You're booming and catching the swing forward and back is, is harder for me. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I've got a lot to learn. And I enjoy watching the videos of you guys out there. Uh, I'll try to do some, uh, I don't know, I don't do editing, but I got a kid that might, so we'll see how that works. All right, I'll uh, keep this short and uh, hopefully it uploads. Wife's gonna kill me when uh, she sees the bill for the data. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a good one and uh, I'll, I'll keep posting.